Ja. Top pair for Raymond here and Gutter and backdoor flush draw for Brandon. He binks the turn. He's got the nuts with the straight flush redraw. What a turn card. Four of hearts. And Raymond thinks he has the best hand, but he is actually drawing dead. Wow. You're doing good today, am I? Huh? You're doing good today. I'm not doing good. I wonder why. Huh? We've seen Raymond go broke with top pair multiple times. Big pot earlier he lost with King Queen against Pepe Sevens. What's he gonna do here with Ace Queen? Definitely gonna play a little eight. I wanna see how you play. Okay, but lower the stack. No, raise the stack. 10k cap. Oh, you play mixed? He's dabble. dabble in everything. Dabble. You? No. Dabble? No. I don't makes know. the call. No limit. You're no limit expert. Yes, I'm a huge expert. Clean river. I mean, you would think Raymond is going to snap this river. How could he ever fold? <laughs> Just don't see it being possible. <laughs> that was a great word, Fox. <laughs> I think Nick only win like 400 I, I don't think That's folding here is even a good fold at this point if you get here. I think you just have to pay this off. It is a pot size bet. It's very polarized, but... There's a lot of missed draws Brandon could have here. I would be shocked if Freeman makes this fold. Yesterday I played two hands, we had aces. <laughs> you have two aces. <laughs> yeah, so aces Raymond, twice, three bet pre. Twice for the aces. And, the, and the then, then, then remembered he had Laker tickets. Ah. Flop was check, check. <laughs> Turn, he bets, Brandon raises. We thought he never go to the LA game. Huh? Whoa. Wow. Oh what a hand. Hand, bro. What right? is that? And he pays it off. 129k pot for Brandon. Oh, he has God. the nuts. Nuts, you got the nuts. Wow, what a hand. Oh my god, my god. You know, Nick bluffed me, bro. Fast. Nick bluffed you? Yeah, last week, yeah. Nick? No, no, no. I misread my hand. That makes more sense. I thought I had a flush. That makes more sense. Almost 200, uh, 400 in a pot. You, if you call, like 450k pot. <laughs> Almost call, like, ah, the second, no, the second best pot. player. <laughs> he almost called me in a second. Jack Aaron out flopping Raymond here with top pair in a three bet pot. I into like 120 or so 100. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I do that? I was on tilt. Stone cold tilt. <laughs> that day, Pepe, when I come, I'm very good already. A, I mean, <laughs> I guess it's not a bad turn to, show up on to barrel. And you call Raymond could rep all the over pairs here. I almost call snap call and you call the clock. Fuck, man. I think like. You call, you call. He has way more over pairs, way more than nutted hands than Aaron. Like Aaron can have boats that he doesn't raise in the flop. Um, but now with this river card, if Raymond were to bet, he doesn't want to go too big because he could rep an over pair or a flush. Instead, he gives up. He knows he loses this hand. Aaron can have a flush here. He can have a boat. Maybe he can have an overpair like tens or nines. He's gonna bet, and an interesting value bet for Aaron because Raymond might take this line and check river with aces and kings. And if he is, I, I don't think Aaron is bluffing here. But I don't know that there's many worse hands that call Raymond. Uh, that the call if you're Raymond. So not so sure about this better this size. But he is right. He does have the best hand. But Raymond really should be just raising or folding here, and Aaron doesn't have enough behind to raise. So I think Raymond's just posturing. 
Oh no. I mean, this call makes Jackade. no sense at all. What, what do you beat? You literally Bluff. only beat a complete airball bluff that has no draw on the turn and just decides to bet River as well. Uh, that's worse than Ace Jack. I, I mean, what? Like, is is Aaron ever floating King Queen on the turn? I, I don't think so. Very ambitious play by Aaron and way more ambitious call by Raymond. Uh, interesting. As we set the early game dynamic here. 